again and Hello. welcome back to oh, Scott. That's not Wanda. <laughs> not Wanda. Scott and not Wanda's world. This is Sam. Hello everyone. Of us, uh, the life of Sam and Chantel. And I've roped him into a beer of beer review. Because uh, Wanda didn't want to do it in okay, case she slated it. Um, now, in all honesty, I've just had this on tap. So it's a brand new beer from Stagger Really Good. It's their Wrecker series, Sam. And it is their Mango. So this is Reptile Respawn. Colourful can. Uh, love those. So I've had, um, uh, where are the Wrecker ones? There's a Wrecker on the top, to the right. Hmm. Yep. We had the, um, the Blueberry Wrecker. And the infamous, I don't know if I've got a can of that. The very infamous uh, Chewy Cherry Wrecker had a habit of doing naughty things out of the can and just blowing it. Um, <laughs> but we won't talk about that because um, the guys at um, Sega Really Good are, are good people. And this is the latest in their series. And it's their uh, Reptile Respawn Wrecker. And it's mango, passion fruit and chilli. Coming in at 8.5%, Sam. And on the Wrecker scale, it's a zero. I think it's a zero. So what's the oh it's a five. What's the record scale? So they've got a record scale here. Yeah. So it's the um, does it wreck? It's, oh, they're not classed as beers. They're classed as not beers. Okay, they're so they're basically alcoholic fruit drinks. Oh okay. Okay. Oh, um, now this is based on this, which is reptile dysfunction, which is their habanero, um, mango and passion fruit IPA. Okay, this is the original thing. I think it was about 6%. It's quite high still though, isn't it? Uh, something like that, 6.8%. 6, 6, uh, 6 uh, and this is their Wrecker version. And this, Sam, is 8.5%. That's mental. Okay. Why is it, why is it so hard? Well, they're, 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 I think they're experimenting. That What I like about it is that their can, the can art for the Wreckers... It's, it's really cool, actually. It's absolutely superb. It's really cool. Um, now they're saying chili, whether they use habanero or not, I don't know. Now I'll say, I've just had this on tap. I bought a can to bring back to do with Wanda. Obviously she doesn't want to do it, so I've roped you in. <laughs> and, I, and I've got I'm a, a proper one. wreck of glass as well. That's cool. Six pound a can. Fruity. Thick. It's thick. I can smell it from here. Jesus <laughs> Christ. So we're going to go right to the top. So mango juice. Cool, yeah. In a glass. So go on in, Sam, give it a sniff and see what you're getting. It's a five out of five on the record scale. Oh, can't really get much uh, mango from that. Mango, passion fruit, and habanero or, or chili. Passion fruit, I can get. A lot of alcohol, actually, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, does it smell? <laughs> does it smell inviting, or are you a bit worried? Probably what? leaning on the more worried <laughs> scale, but you know. So I, I liked it off, on, off on tap. It was it was fantastic. You had it on tap. Yeah, I just had it on tap. So I'm the same. I get more passion fruit than the mango. The mango does come through. Mm. And you get the, the slightest hint of that chilli. It's not, it doesn't rage, yeah, but you do get the, you get, the, get the slightest hint of it. But it smells lovely. Mm. Go on then, mate. Let's see what you make of that. Christ. Basically, bear in mind, Sam just drinks Desperados. Yeah. Just... That's it. So Joe, if you're watching this, I am sorry. <laughs> Okay. Again, more passion fruit. Now the chilies come through on the taste. Yeah. Um, it's not overwhelming though. No. Like the, even the whole taste, I, I wasn't actually confident on the smell. I thought it'd be really bad. Yeah. But the taste is. It's all right. It's not too powering, actually. So you get the chili. Yeah. So I, I'd say the same. At the um, um, when I spoke to Joe, me and Wanda had just been down to stay really good. Um, 
the 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 chili isn't overpowering mm. it, it sits and sings through it it doesn't overbear it um the mango and the passion fruit are quite evenly balanced in the actual taste yeah uh, that's on tap um i've not tried it on the can yeah so it might be different than can so the mouth feels really thick <laughs> really thick um you get that there's like a bite like an almost sour mm, yeah yeah bite to it um where we get the passion fruit and the um the mango come through um and the fruit in there is incredible and then all the way through you get that chili mm. um but it's not it's not too what i liked about the reptile dysfunction was exactly the same it was not too bad in there no yeah is it it's actually drinkable. I think this is one of the first drinks I've actually tried of yours. We say try this, and for me, I'm not a fan of bitterness or anything like that. It's, you know, I'm a fan of sweet. Like yeah, Desperado yeah. is quite sweet, um, but that I could probably any sign of eight and a half. Would you say that's an eight and a half percent drink? Not a chance. Let me let me taste this again because I would not say that's. Mm -mm. No. Very creamy very thick um yeah. carbonate the carbonation is quite low in it um it's actually that's fucking dangerous that is dangerous that, that, is. that is dangerous that's really good and yeah i can i can't taste the alcohol much no. as well either i'll have two of them so my so wreckers i think i it's um they the, this one's not so bad the the the, the last couple wrecked the glass with the the um uh the the lacing of the glass this one isn't so bad but designed to get you wrecked yeah. and will probably <laughs> after three or four do a very good job of that yeah 100%. um i am say on tap it was lovely um actually we we've, we've just met two guys while we were in staggering good that turned around and said we watch your your channel so i didn't catch your names i do apologize for that i'm um, having a, a good chat if you watch this stay safe um i'm a huge fan of the wrecker series I think they're really good. I think they're different, um, and I like the way that they're pushing the boundaries ever so much, a, a little bit. Um, Sam, we give thumbs up, thumbs down, and thumbs in the middle. Yeah. On on, on Scott Wonder's world. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. And you've got to be honest. Honest. Right, because Joe wants honesty, and okay. so he, he's all up for that. So honesty. Honestly, Joe. It's a thumbs up, it's a thumbs up mate. <laughs> that is cracking. That is really, really nice. I find it, it's really, re even though it's um, it's quite thick, it's really refreshing as well. So in the sunshine, you won't want too many of them because they are that thick. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a massive thumbs up. I'm a, I'm a huge proponent of um, Stanger Any Good Brewery. Not just because I get on well with the guys there. They genuinely brew very, very decent beers. We've had a, um, a sneak shot of a beer they've got coming out next week and Wanda's falling in love with it already. Um, and we've, got, we've got a video coming out because we've just had a one minute video on it uh, that'll <laughs> come out um, in the week. Um, if you don't know about Stagger Any Good, you really should because they're fantastic. Um, I think that's really, really nice. Really nice. And even Sam likes it. Sam just likes Desperados. Yeah, I don't, I genuinely find out anything crap. <laughs> so that's go go and, go and um, subscribe to um, Sam and Chantel. I'll love Sam and Chantel. I'll put the link in the um, the, the blurb at the bottom um, because Alex's video has just come out. Yeah, isn't it? Just seen that. Um, <laughs> uh, Alex's birthday video. So go and give that a watch as well. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. We don't give a shit. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, thanks to all the friends at the end of the, uh, the, the video. And Sam, we'll see you soon. See you soon. <laughs>